There were a couple of stunts I got to do on the obstacle course, which were a challenge. I think Freya did an amazing job of, of playing that as well. Our stunt team joked that they kept trying to like throw Freya out at the end of the night, that she just wanted to keep training. Well, Freya, I've got to tell you, Siri's journey in season two of The Witcher was by far my favorite part. We saw her go from princess to powerhouse. What was it like for you and what was the most challenging part of the training as you really had to step it up in season two? Yeah, the most challenging part, I don't know. I mean, I kind of make everything a challenge because <laughs> I'm a perfectionist. So I get very easily frustrated when things aren't uh, going exactly as planned. Our stunt team joked that they kept trying to like throw Freya out at the end of the night, that she just wanted to keep training. And I think part of it is just because that's who Freya is. She wants to get her hands on, she wants to dig in. Um, she wants to be able to try everything on her own. But I think also it was a reaction to her storyline in season one, which was a lot of running away from things. And I think both as a character, but also as an actor, it was like, okay, let's push beyond this. Let's get to the next step. In episode three, she does a huge sort of training sequence that I think game fans are especially going to love because it really is is from the witcher 3 it covers that same territory um and she did so much of that on her own uh it was incredible i think there were a couple of stunts i got to do on the obstacle course which were a challenge like having to fall off the beam and also uh, but I, I i also loved the element of like the fact that you know siri gets wounded and then she's having to do the course with that and you have to consider that in your mind as you're doing the course so mm -hmm. I don't know. Uh, and, and then obviously there was a the sword work, which was a whole new skill to learn. And um, I, I really wanted to get right. And uh, yeah, no, it was, it was, I loved it though. So I'm your destiny. You're much more than that, Cirilla. And it was so fun to see you and Henry share so many scenes together in season two, considering we went essentially all of season one with the exception of one scene with you guys completely yeah. apart. Uh, what was it like working with Henry so much this season? And how would you describe Geralt and Ciri's dynamic? It was fun. I mean, Henry just like, I didn't expect him to, but he, you know, cracks jokes on set, uh, which is really nice to like break up in between the sort of intensity of, yeah. of what's going on in the plot. But yeah, no, their, their relationship is, you know, it evolves uh, throughout the season. You know, they're having to navigate a lot with one another because uh, they both got their different aims. Siri is resisting revealing anything to do with herself to him because she fears those things that she'd have to reveal. Mm -hmm. And Geralt's wanting to find out so he can protect this girl. And Ciri's wanting to become a witcher, uh, which is not in line with, Hen uh, with Geralt's idea of protecting her. What's going on, Geralt? Move. Now. He's been through trauma as much as Cirilla has. Yeah. And so he's got to recognize that and give her space to be free with her trauma as well because people have tried to delve into his past as well. And it's it's not a good feeling when someone tries to force you to talk about your trauma. And so I wanted to show that that aspect of Geralt, that soulfulness, that understanding mm -hmm. to say, you know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sit here and tell a story. And if you wanna keep on talking after that, then you can. And and I think Freya did an amazing job of, of playing that as well, of playing the like, huh, okay, well, he's been through stuff too then, I get it. And, maybe I am comfortable sharing this. And I think Freya did a wonderful job of showing the subtleties of that. So it's this kind of like push and pull. There's a lot of friction at times and there's there's resentment, you know, from Siri's side to him as well, because humans and she's not trusting of people uh, in this continent after what she's experienced in season one and what she's discovering about her family. And so, you know, they, they're navigating all of this, but ultimately build a really like caring relationship at the end of it. Thank you.